Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Justin Peters. I hope that you and your family are doing well today. I want to thank you for joining me for this video. And even as I'm starting, I'm looking at myself on the monitor and I just realized that my shirt um, makes me look like an inmate. I look, <laughs> I look like I'm uh, doing time or something, but no, it's... Uh, it's weird. It sure, it looks different on screen, but at any rate, I digress. Uh, this is the fourth installment, I suppose, of the new devotional series that I am doing. And uh, this is kind of a spur of the moment thing. I wasn't planning on doing one today. I was going to do one tomorrow on a different topic. But uh, I received a couple of e emails today from folks, both of which uh, take me to task. Uh, basically, the gist of both of them saying that uh, they accuse me of only having head knowledge of God. They say you only care about doctrine, you only care about theology, you don't care, uh, you don't have any love for God. And this is something I've heard so so many times from charismatics. In fact, it's it's one of the undercurrent that um, doctrine and theology are not important. They will say, "Oh, I don't need doctrine. I I don't need theology. I just I just love Jesus." But that is a false thing to say uh, because it is sound doctrine. It is right theology that deepens our knowledge of God. And when our knowledge of God is deepened, then that enables our love for God to be deepened. Um, I, I am married to a wonderful lady named Kathy. We've been married for almost 10 years. August will be 10 years. And... Um, as I got to know Kathy, I wanted to know more about her. I studied her. I wanted to know what she likes. You know, what, what does she like to eat? What is, how does she like her coffee? And in fact, uh, speaking of coffee, I'm not a coffee drinker at all. I'm a teetotaler. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm a teetotaler on alcohol and I'm a teetotaler on coffee. I don't drink it at all. I don't know anything about it, but I know, well, I know some about it now because I know that Kathy likes it. She doesn't like just any coffee, but I had to learn this, basically this whole language when it comes to, to coffee. And when Kathy and I are out on the road now, if we're on a trip and maybe I'm preaching somewhere and she goes with me, uh, first thing in the morning when we get up and get ready, we I take her to go get her coffee. And I know how she likes it. She likes, uh, white chocolate Americano with five shots, sometimes six, but five shots, uh, light cream. The only, I, I don't even know what any of that means. I don't know what it tastes like, but that's how, that's what she likes. And, um, the only question I have to ask her is if she wants it hot or iced, depending on the, the weather It usually determines that. So anyway, i I studied her, you know, and the more you, if you truly love someone, you want to get to know that person, right? And, and, and the only way to know a person, to get to know them, is to spend time with them. You study them. Like I studied Kathy. I still am studying Kathy. I, I, I want to know what she likes, what she doesn't like, and same her for me. And so all of these people who profess to love God, love Christ, but they don't have any concern for doctrine or theology. In fact, they they diminish these things. They they portray doctrine and theology as somehow antithetical to love. And they'll say, well doctrine and theology, that's just one thing. That's just, you know, for the for the preachers or the seminary professors, but what's really important is your love for God. But that is a false dichotomy. That that's a, a false assumption that the Bible does not make at all, does not teach. In, in fact quite the opposite. Jesus says Quoting Deuteronomy in uh, Matthew chapter 22 and Luke chapter 10, Jesus quotes Deuteronomy chapter 6. He says, We are to love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, and mind. God gave us a mind for a reason. He wants us to use it. We are to study to show ourselves approved unto God. 2 Timothy 2.15 And uh, Paul makes a very interesting statement in Philippians chapter 1 verse 9. Paul says, in this I pray that your love would abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment. You see, the Bible never separates knowledge of God and love for God. The Bible always combines these things. And so all of these people who will 
profess from the rooftops how much they love Jesus, but yet they couldn't tell you the difference between Romans and Revelation. They, they don't have an interest in in theology. They don't have an interest in doctrine, which simply means teaching. They don't. Well, if you don't have an interest in theology and doctrine, then that means you really don't have an interest in God because um, that is what enables us to know God. And, and the more we uh, know God, the more we will love God. And this is a, a beautiful cycle. Now, granted, there are a lot of people out there who have a head full of knowledge of God who don't who do not love God. But if we do love God, so let me say it this way. You can, have, you can have knowledge without love, but if you truly love God, then you will want to get to know him. And the only way to get to know him is by knowing him in his word. And we are to use our minds. The mind is not the enemy of spirituality. The, the, the engaged mind is not the enemy of your love for Christ. It is the friend of it. So we are to indeed love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, and mind. We are to study to show ourselves approved unto God. So don't fall into this um, false teaching out there that somehow knowledge of God and love for God are separate and they're antagonistic towards one another. No, they are companions. So in this I pray that your love for God would abound all the more in knowledge and real discernment. So thank you very much, dear ones. I hope that this has been encouraging for you. Until, there, until our next time together, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of his Holy Spirit be with you all.